Welcome to the big reveal. You have been working so hard for it seems like so long on your mural. And I know that you are going to be excited to see what it looks like. We talked about what a legacy is at the very beginning, leaving our mark on our school, going off to middle school, leaving behind something beautiful for everybody else to um, be a part of in their environment and the culture and everything. So we talked about designing our own flower and we had a reference sheet, remember, you looked at, you could pick or you could do your own flower and your own leaf and then you left it for me. I was inspired by sunflowers. They always moved the direction of the sun every single time. You spent four days painting. So you got to choose your own colors, remember? And you put layers, got rid of the white uh, wall color, and then you left it for us to outline. I want them to see it to see how hard we all worked on it and to see that they could like stay so they can make their own legacy. So you haven't seen this. We've had it covered up. This is brand new for you. Um, but this is your legacy. This is 21 to 22. And I went ahead and got a plaque engraved for you. So this plaque is going to be put onto the wall next to your mural. So everybody's gonna know it's your fifth grade that did this, that left it for them. And we titled it Our Unique Garden. Everybody had their own unique flower, part of our garden. I could not have done this without my specials team, my incredibly supportive principal and all the staff here at Franklin Elementary. They came in after hours and helped me tremendously. No other flower looks like yours, honey. Beautiful sunflower, Gary. I love your orange and bright blue. Tina Morano did these tile works with our fifth graders. It was a fifth grade legacy also. We did the mural at the end of the hallway with Josh Tripoli one year, and this is our third one. We weren't able to do it last year or the year before, but it's nice to bring it back.